Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to conditionally show and hide blocks. Perhaps you only want a block to show up on one particular page or for maybe one type of user. So we're going to be covering that right now. Now let's talk about some further block manipulation and control. Let's say we only want the tools block to show up on the home page. Now this isn't exactly a practical example, but as you can see, when we go into a particular post or even onto another page, you can see that the tools block is there. Let's go ahead and click configure block. And you notice this is a block menu. So as different from the Powered by Drupal block, we have this menu levels. And in past versions of Drupal, menu block was an additional module you had to add on to Drupal. In Drupal 8, it's been added into core, and that's a great thing because now we can say start at the initial menu level and have unlimited menu levels deep. Now, this isn't totally obvious because we only have one menu item in this menu, and that's why it's just showing up. However, in future videos, this menu levels will become important. Let's go ahead and scroll down to pages. Let's click on this tab, and let's go ahead and say, show for the listed pages. For instance, we only want this to show on the front page. Now, you'll notice it says front is the front page and you only want to enter one path per line and the asterisk is a wildcard for instance if you wanted to show up on any user page you could type forward slash user forward slash asterisk now that would show up on every single user account page so any url that had the beginning user string user and then ended with anything else this would show up However, front is a little bit different. You might think, hey, we'll put this forward slash here and that's the front page. Not the case. We actually need to say less than, front, greater than. Now what this is going to say is that this block is only going to show up on the front page. Let's click save block. And now you'll notice on the about us page, there's no tools because the URL path is no longer uh, the front page. In fact, if we come to the front page, you'll see tools here. We come into a post, it's not there either. Let's say we wanted that the opposite to be true. We wanted this to only show up on every page that's not the front page. We can come back to configure block pages. And now here, all we need to do is negate this condition. So it says hide for the listed pages. So now it's only going to hide on the front page. Save the block once more. And as you can see on the home page, it's hidden. About us, we have tools. And just likewise, any other post or anything like that will have tools as well. Now, let's say we only wanted this to show up on this one specific post. We have the URL, which is just node2. I'm just going to copy the end of the URL here. Let's head to configure block. Let's go to pages. I'm going to now replace this with forward slash node forward slash two, and I'm going to check this negate the condition show for listed pages. So we're going to show only on forward slash node forward slash two. Let's go ahead and click save block here. Now, as you can see on this particular page, we have tools on home. We have no tools on my edited post tools about us no tools so as you can see these view options for where your particular block is posted is super powerful you can have as many things listed here as you'd like if we wanted this to show up on node 1 and node 2 you just put it on another line like so and you could keep going down for as many as you'd like or if you wanted it to show up on every node you could just use the asterisk like so now this is going to be something that you'll use over and over and over again. So make sure that you have a good understanding about how you can add your pages to the display for your particular blocks. Now you can modify this for any single block on your site and that can be very, very powerful. So this is how you can choose where your blocks display on your site and how they're displayed. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.